So let's hop into this real quick. We got some uh, Gypsy Rose Blanche. She's back. Lifetime Series X, uh, the X, uh, whatever the fuck this is called, the Prisoner Experience. Gypsy Rose Blanche, or Life After a Lockup, okay? Season 1, Episode 4 is back, okay? And uh, they don't really drop a lot. They take their time to build these fucking views. They're doing a lot better than TLC. TLC, you know, they the, the amount of, like, shows that they produce and their YouTube channel the you know the plethora of clips they throw out is like hot i mean you never run out of entertainment if you're into garbage television reality uh lifetime's taking on the task of having uh gypsy rose blanchard of all people with this disgusting fucking look you know from the side give me a damn break man give me a fucking break with that shit ichabod crane this is a you know there's a lot of people out here that like fit the role for a tim burton feature film People have the outline of, like, you know, his demented depression world. You know, a lot of people that are uh, affiliated with Tim Burton should probably look in the mirror and be like, why did he pick me? You know, you look at a lot of Tim Burton's earlier work, garbage. You look at everything he's ever done, garbage. Some people like it. I'm not into it. And he always picks these, like, you know, ultra strange Great Depression with a little bit of salvia mixed in with the, uh, you know, the vision the illusion, the hallucination. And those are the characters that he has in his movie. So I'm hoping that, you know, Gypsy Rose has got... She's going to be so lucky soon. She's about to be in a Tim Burton movie. I can't wait. So let's watch this real quick. She's going to have what we would call... break. I think she breaks her leg or something. You know, there's this thing called... Uh, you know, holding your girl's hand, your wife, your girlfriend, when you're on the sidewalk. It's it's a revolution. I've You know, every time I've got... You know, I had a girlfriend, I'm always like, what side? Okay, if I have them on the other side, somebody could walk by and stab. If I have them on the side where the street is, they could get hit by a car. So I just stand in front of them. I have my arm this way. They're not going anywhere. They're in the middle. So anywho, I think Gypsy Rose pushes uh, Buford off the fucking, I don't know. I don't care. Where am I watching? Oh, uh, Ryan's calling in. Uh, I'll do oh, I declined it for a second just so I could finish. I'm okay, so Gypsy Rose Blanchard's been in prison so long that the touchscreen phenomenon of, like, uh, cellular technology, the iPhone, is uh, still a fucking, you know, a fantastic treat. I remember when I got my first PSP, when PSPs came out, I was blown away by the tech. A month later? I couldn't remember the thing. I got bored of it. I set it down. Got very old quickly. But Gypsy Rose, you know, she's not only got out of prison, she also got out of, like, you know, the reality of having no, no chance to ever own any tech like this. You know, an iPhone, a lot of people, when they get iPhones, they become iPhone people. They love their iPhones. Oh, they live it. They get an iPhone computer. They get the fucking MacBook Studio. You're looking stupid. Fucking bitch! Where's the sound? Where's the out of here? Hey. I mean, never ever let the masses of people's, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, the popularity of something should not, like, really fucking sway your thinking into, you know, I can't beat them, I, uh, I better join them type of uh, thinking. Always differ. I always try to do something a little bit unique. Because that's all you got in this world. Other than that, you're just going to start looking like the same eraser. Every pencil you pick up is the fucking same flat thing on the top. A lot, a lot of fucking wasteoids out here. So here's Gypsy. Oh, uh, Ryan's calling in. Ryan's calling in. Probably fucking behind her with what we would call the. Uh, I'll, I'll, I declined it for a second just so I could finish him. It's fine. He'll be fine. <laughs> He'll be fine. Look at Gypsy, dude. I'm talking prison fucking blunt, man. <laughs> He'll be God fine. God damn. Um. Well, I cleaned it out. Oh, my God, dude. And you know Ryan was like, hey, we should. this should be our picture. Now, Ryan Anderson, the more I watch him, the more I realize both of these people are fucking are complete psychopaths. Ryan being somebody that's never had a relationship outside of, like, you know, his blow-up doll or a fucking bottle of Jergens and a fucking, tooth, uh, fucking toilet paper roll with some gloves on the inside. <laughs> Outside of the own delusions of pleasuring himself, I don't think he's ever been with a girl in his life. Okay, so this is the first time he's got a girl, you know, you know, married to him. 
you know, he's a famous reality star. They're doing a reality show. Ryan's like, you know, he's exploring all the avenues of, you know, how to, you know, how to make this thing work. And also, you know, command her to do things. So I'm sure he told her to put this background on here. It's disgusting. Out and I washed all the clothes. Yeah, I was just calling to, well, texting you to check in. And, uh, Ken checked in. What? You know, just to see how you were doing. So with Gypsy Rose, uh, she's got what we would call one hell of a good, she had a really good time in prison, spread the word. Uh, she was in jail, she got with one guy, I think his name was Kenneth. Kenneth uh, broke up, or they split up. She got with Ryan. Ryan, you know, one of our nicest fucking faces you got in Hollywood. I mean, if you look at the guy, I mean, what do you fucking think? There's no shot. No shot at... Who, who are you? Who the fuck are you? I'm on the wrong thing. Because... But Ryan is like one of those guys that like you could you could trust, you know, when the camera's on, when the camera's off. I don't know. Okay. I don't know about all this. But she got with him, and then they broke up. They split the marriage off. You know, we're watching a show that, like, is already ruined. You know, might as well cancel the series. Because I don't think we're really going to get any more details aside from, like, what these two dipshits have already... Sp they've already spilled the tea. Show's over. We already know the end of the story. But anywho, they reenact being married after she gets out of jail. And I think Lifetime and Ryan were probably, you know, they're in cahoots with each other. Ryan's a paid actor. Got with Gypsy. Gypsy doesn't care. She's fucking completely got blood on her mind. So, you know, you can make her do anything. And, I was like, and so Kenneth's calling right now. Gypsy rubbing them lips. Rubbing them lips. Is thinking about Kenneth. So it's good stuff. The drama is getting thick with this show. I really got to take the, I really got to pay for a lifetime or, you know, figure out some type of life hack to get this show on my TV. Like you're doing great. He's like, good. That's all I want. Okay. He just worry. And you can't blame him. Yeah. Mm, can't blame him. But he had told me that if he loved you enough, he needed to let you go. So you could find yourself. Love you. I so I think this lady right here, I don't know who this is, okay? I think this is the same lady that's on Gypsy's TikTok. Now, Gypsy's got this TikTok that be doing numbers. She ain't posting enough. I think she probably goes live a lot. Goes live a lot. Um, it's an infection that happens whenever you see money flowing into your pocket. You know, you... you people really change once money's involved. Aside from that, I mean, like, you know, it wasn't, you know... Whatever. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is that I've seen this girl on this lady right here. I think is on her tick, uh, Gypsy Rose's TikTok. I think it's the same lady with them tattered shorts. You told okay? me. Looking dreadful. That if he loved you enough, he needed to let you go so you could find yourself. That's what he told me he did. So, is that why he ended things with me? Mm. Wow. What the fuck is Gypsy wearing? I've never seen anybody have, like, tearaway fucking sleeves in my life. Gypsy's got this dreadful fucking, you know, everything that touches her skin looks cheaper than hell. Garbage clothes. You know, I, I feel like Gypsy, she gets some money in her pocket. I've seen it a hundred thousand times on TV shows, movies, Hollywood stars. Artists, they always like, you know, there's always that one person that spends their money the wrong way. And Gypsy's out here going every fucking Forever 21. Fucking, you can't keep her out of the changing room. She's putting everything on. She's getting herself fucking all bedazzled up. And then coming out looking like a fucking mess, man. I'm not into it. Her lips. I mean, I'm. thank God she had the surgery. I told my mom about Gypsy Rose. She's like, oh, wow, she's pretty. I'm like, you're wrong. You're right. But Overweight. Hey, that's your fucking nuts, man. You got to remember the camera is one of our biggest fucking culprits in crime. Okay, it's always tricking you. Never trust a picture or a video. He regrets it. You know, I like before I met Ryan, Mom, I was holding on so hard. Oh. I never let go because I thought maybe at the end of it all, maybe. A week before I got out, he'd come back in and say, you know, 
I'm ready. I'm ready to be with you through this. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Can we? This is amazing stuff. Like this is how you know this. This all this shit is a mirage. Okay, this is all a fucking. This is all a, what we would call a giant ruse. You know, imagine like being married to somebody. We watched it the other day. We watched. Uh, we I, I see it all the time, and it's not just a women thing. You know, a lot of people they fucking get upset that you know. Then the comments are like, that, you know, calling me names. Okay, I'm fucking just. Chill out, okay? I hate everybody. You know, or just certain people. So it's not just like, you know, I'm over here attacking the women. You know, we're going to be watching Theo Vaughn today. We're going to be looking at Squirmy in his wheelchair. Don't get it twisted. We try to balance things out. But Gypsy's already, you know, imagine being married to her. And then, uh, you know, Ryan goes back after a day of filming. He's like, let's check out some of the footage. He sees her over here. She's like, you know, I was having, you know, if Ro if Ken could have called me and told me that he wanted to get back, I would have got back with him. So that's why I think this is all fake marriage. It's a goof just to, you know, garner views and make cash. We pick up where we left off, but it never happened. And I'm going to tell you straight up, he wanted to. But he didn't want to ruin your happiness. He loved you that much. And he still does. Don't cry, you can make me cry. Because I want to cry. Wow, what a riveting show. And like, why is this out of like, this is how you know this show's fucking straight. Lightweight crap. Boring as hell. This is the clip they dropped from episode four. Sitting on the couch. Gypsy looking fucking wretched. Just out the shower, out the job, just got back from McDonald's. Let her hair down, let her sleep, her arm bust through the shirt. And and just, we're watching just Ryan's fucking fate, right? This is Ryan's fate. It's like knowing your own death, and you're like, oh, fuck, it's coming soon. Good stuff, though. I love Better it. Better knowing that he is truly sorry for hurting me, but it doesn't change anything, like... I married Ryan. I have a marriage now. I'm wearing this wedding ring that belonged to Ryan's mom. I have a commitment to my husband. Wow. And I wanna so she's conflicted right now. It's over. It's 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 done. Capiche, it's done. All right, so let's hop into some other covers. Let's watch Ryan. Now, this popped up. I don't know what this is. Uh, this person, this is just titled uh, Gypsy Rose. I thought there was a title to this. Oh, it's Ryan Clears the Air. Me and Gypsy already talked about it. Hey, okay. A bunch. So it's one of those. And then I saw people saying, uh, when I left for work, I did see that clip where I left for work. And I said, Gypsy, staying at home today. And she said, yep, stay in here. That wasn't me saying, you better stay at home. That was me saying, you're not going anywhere. You're just going to stay here. Huh? And yeah, that's what she wanted to do that day. She knew she could have done anything she wanted to do. She had options. I put Uber on her phone. With the PayPal, like, no. What the fuck is going on? I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, so fucking distracted right now because I'm trying to order something from Uber Eats, and there's, uh, I'm not seeing a state quesadilla. This is fucking bullshit. And that's why I think, like, you know, Uber was immediately told me, hey, tap for different locations. Your stuff isn't on here. So sometimes you can trust your technology. You know, it's a really, it's like a soothsayer sometimes. So we're going to order some of this real quick. We're going to order some Taco Bell, and we're going to fucking get this show really going. Now, I don't know what Ryan's talking about right now. He's clearing the air about some type of confusion or, like, you know, issue with his girl. Now, Ryan can't let go. He's having a hard time moving on. He's got the dog now. He's got the audience. We watched last week or the other day when we were watching this. We watched Ryan over there just being like, yo, man, shh. I got girls up in my inbox left and right. Successful. Okay, showing it to Gypsy. Gypsy's over there with them fucking eyes, you know, looking in, looking at her fucking nose. You know, I don't think, I don't know how aware Gypsy is with the reality around her. So, you know, we can't even trust it like she's even fucking a real person. Especially when we watch the show, man. I don't think she's absorbing any type of conversation. So, hey I don't know what this is right here. This is another quick little uh, Ryan video. Yep, up, up. Just sitting around and. Got a couple of random thoughts. I did my first live today, and it was cool. I enjoyed that. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, that being said, guys, it's being I'm being it's being it's very difficult for me to stay respectful. Okay, 
And I'm getting to the point where I'm about to not be respectful. So I've like met a lot of people in my life that like they for summer they have like and we're gonna be watching it today with Jeff Wittick. Jeff Wittick is gonna be watched today in detail. We're gonna talk about him. I've had enough of him. I actually got told Fuck, I god damn it, I'm trying to order this food. <laughs> I should have did it before the show. But Jeff Wittick um has got this drama going on right now with Andrew Scholes. Schultz or Scholes, okay? New York City's fucking you know, one of these comedians that, you know, does a lot of like, you know, for the people, okay, type. I like, that's what I like to call whenever I like, you know, somebody's like, check this out, okay? This guy's speaking facts. Okay. I don't buy it. Anybody that does comedy or any type of like stage work where they get up there and they're trying to like, you know, sway the thinking and make a lot of people's heads shake in agreement, they're bullshit, okay? Never ever like anybody that's on the stage. Just go there because you have the- Just kidding. Kidding, I'm kidding. But uh, we're going to be watching uh, Jeff Wittick. He folds, man. Seeing somebody that, like, you know, is very, very, very bothered by a little bit of critique, a little bit of jokes made his way. It's the first time in my life that I've ever actually agreed with uh, Andrew Schultz. I don't even like him, but I'm talking his- Him talking that shit on his show, talking about Jeff Wittick, crushing him with criticism- Saying it's enough, give up the eyeball thing. And I was blown away. My heart was fucking warmer than hell. And we're going to see a character. He's going through what we would call like a really rough time dealing with like somebody that he probably really liked. I've seen it a lot. I've seen it a lot. You can see it with, uh, you know, a certain somebody. Imagine being a fan of somebody and then being big enough for them to recognize you and then they just tarnish you. They give you like, you know, they shit on you. When fans turn, it's like, you know, and, and some people don't really uh, are aware of it. Some people like uh, a certain somebody so much that they almost feel like, you know, they're, you know, they're family to them or they're in a relationship. So whenever they shit on them, all of a sudden they turn, okay? They're like, I've never liked them. Okay, I'm fucking done. I'm going to do 100,000 videos about them. Okay, and like I think we're all kind of afflicted with that. And the only people that aren't, that don't get upset about like criticism or, you know, people out here that like I, I just don't know how much they really care about life in general. They're probably, you know, very close on the edge of that cliff about to jump. So we're going to see, uh, you know, a cope fest with Jeff Wittick coming in hot here in a second. Let me just order this. I mean, I've been sitting here. I've been fiddling around. You know, every time I get on Uber, tells me, try this for free for three months. Uber won. Fuck you, all right? I'm not doing that. Just order this food and get the go show going. Okay, we've ordered it. We're good. I hope I sent it to the right house. Let's watch this little update real quick. He's, you know, Ryan's got a lot of fucking lot on his mind, and he's about to explode. You know, some people out here, they can only take so much. Okay. Uh, yes, I did text Gypsy during her live with Ken tonight. Oh my uh, God! So you know he couldn't. You know, I've, I had a friend one time when I was younger. He had, he had this breakup with his his girlfriend. Okay, and we're sitting in my dad's garage, hanging out on the four stroke. Okay, you know I'm talking like four hands going up and down on each other's legs. And while we're doing that, while we're playing, um, he's like, "Give me your phone, mate," because he didn't have a cell phone. He was from a place called Quick Shop Trailer Park in Winchester, Kentucky, one dreadful place to live. Every fucking street has a speed bump on it. The bus driver would drive us down there in the morning, going to school, picking up kids, hitting every bump. Every bump! Miss K was one of my favorite people in the world, and I never really could ha handle looking at her face. A lot of people out here, they have a lot of affection for the, you know, the early um, adults. You know, as a kid, you would have these adults p surrounding you. They become your heroes, you know, especially if they made you smile. You know, some people, they have their favorite teacher. I had my favorite bus driver, Miss K. Miss K had some fucking giant wops. She had humongous junks. I'm talking about trailer park uh, dro dro droops. Hanging down to her fucking knees, she had witch's teeth, a witch's nose. And she would like, you know, it was for sure on every type of prescription pill known to man. And sometimes whenever we were getting out of hand, she'd turn around, give us a look, give us a glimpse. We'd see her droops. But she would always hit every speed bump and take us through the trailer park to pick up all these fucking, you know, I'm talking about pathetic, pathetic, 
fucking individuals that lived in that fucking unfortunate life. Um, but anywho, I don't even know why I brought that up. But can't don't let her fool. Uh, DM says, I know Jeff personally. I'm, I'm not sure if you'd want receipts. I'll just say, check out this explanation on Janko's show. It's only that Andrew did behind the... No. Get the fuck out of here, man. This show is a tilt, okay? Imagine fucking, you know, your brakes are shit in your car and you're on the fucking one of these 90 degree fucking angles and you're just slowly going down and you you don't know why. You don't know why you got yourself in that situation, but you can't get out of it. And this show is kind of like that, okay? I'm about to die. Oh, yeah, she called me last Saturday talking about she missed me, and of course I miss you, and she said a lot of other things, too. But I'm not going to go there because I want to be respectful. Uh, you know, and it's funny. She doesn't text me back to be respectful to her boyfriend, Ken, but she had no respect for her husband, Ryan. And it's funny, Ken sitting there, ah, you do you. You believe that? You really believe that she's being respectful? Mm. Okay. Now, Ryan, I think this is actually one of uh, a commissioned art piece. Now, we've actually seen on uh, Ryan's refrigerator, he's got like a uh, thing that he's got magnetized on their prison artwork. You know, he's been doing a lot of doodling. Okay, he's got a lot of time on his hand. He's got the dog. He's got these j mass basketball jerseys. I don't know how often Ryan really does, you know, anything exciting in his life besides maybe going to work and having the next big plate. Anywho, uh, we've seen his artwork. It was this. I you know. I, I this is, you know, on every fucking, you know, you play Skyrim. You'll see it on every crevice of the shield. Okay, medieval crap. I got receipts too, babe. So we can go there and plus, yeah. You know, so it was only just, it was only, you know, it was all in the waiting that Gypsy left him. This this guy's fucking, so this is his artwork he puts on the wall. Let the lawyers handle it. No, yeah, bullshit. Let the lawyers handle it. 